Anybody heard of Nikola Tesla? <laughs> Who has not heard of Nikola Tesla? <laughs> okay. Who well, has not seen a Tesla coil in action? Like a refrigerator. Uh, we're still going to go over a little bit about it, because uh, who Tesla was, simply because uh, there's a lot about him that is not known. And uh, most importantly, who he was as a spiritual soul. Uh, every one of us has lived many, many lives, and those lives make up who we are right now. And what we are doing right now, we're making our future. So what you are right, right today is the events that have happened to you before, not only in this lifetime, but many lives. And what you're doing right now is either making your future more positive, constructive, intelligent, or it's making your future something that you're going to have to look at and go, why am I in this situation and how can I get out of this? So um, that's why are we talking about that. Tesla was one of these advanced souls. He'd spent many, many lifetimes <coughs> developing his consciousness. So for him, it wasn't that God looked down and said, you're going to be blessed with an, an amazing amount of knowledge and how electricity and energy functions and the rest of the world is going to, you know, bow down to you. No. It's because he'd spent many, many lifetimes developing that consciousness in the same sense that Mozart developed his consciousness and it was very simple and, and for him it was no big deal to write symphonies at five because he developed that over many, many lifetimes. So uh, this is what Inarius teaches is that we are energy beings and that everything we do, everything we think, everything we say is having an effect not only on ourselves but on the environment and everybody that we know. And what we uh, are doing with that uh, understanding is if we have a particular problem or an inhibition that is keeping us from being all that we want to be, we can look back into those past life experiences and learn how to discharge negations from those situations so that we can grow spiritually, mentally, emotionally and become better people. Now, Nikola Tesla was a cosmic visionary just like Jesus was, just like Buddha and other people like Einstein. He was a cosmic visionary. That means he had a developed higher self. He was a very he had evolved in his spiritual evolution. So a lot of this knowledge about spirit comes from Ernest Norman, one of the co-founders of Unarius. So if you read, if you want to go further than just the material understanding of what Tesla left here physically, the other understanding of it is how the cosmos worked, how intuitive he really was, is described in our books. The main core textbook is the infinite concept of cosmic creation. Now, Tesla's mission, among other things, was not only to introduce our people to electricity, but to open a cosmic window of understanding. So Tesla, one of his quotes is that if you want to know the secrets, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, you have to know frequency, energy, and vibration. Our true nature is spirit and nature. That's our true nature. It's eternal. We only live a certain lives in a physical incarnation, and then we go to spirit, and then we incarnate again in some in some physical body. You follow me? So it's the the frequency of his consciousness, like Kevin said, was so refined over many lifetimes, he was a pure channel for this information to come through, these devices. Now, mankind wasn't really ready for a lot of what Tesla had to bring through, so they were put off into the future. And Tesla said many of the devices are going to be uncovered by the future. Scientists, it's happening now, okay? And it's something that Unaris has talked about since its inception. Again, Unaris is a spiritual school. It's not about developing these things, and, and we don't have the engineers to develop these things. Everybody always says, well, where's your Tesla motor? That's not what we're about, but we are sharing an example of how this can happen, and how it works, how you work as an energy being, and what our future holds. Because I, I talk to so many people, and they, they, all they talk about is doom and gloom. The world's going to end tomorrow, and the economy's going to go, and everything's going to fall apart, and we're all going to end up killing each other, and living in loin claws again. And <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> It's not going to happen. The future of our world is a very positive one. And we're going to find the ways and means to engineer and to have the science to develop and help us through these tremendous problems that we have, the pollution and, and uh, the, quite frankly, the materialism and all the things that are keeping us from moving forward and progressing. So you see, that's our job. When we become more, when we understand more about our spirit nature and how to become more spiritual evolved, then we'll have this beautiful technology. 
Now there are baby steps going right now. We're going to turn this on in just a few moments. There's some baby steps that are going on, proving what Kevin said, that the future is going to be positive. You ever heard of the WAVE project? W-A-V-E. Google it if you want to. The University of Utah has used Tesla technology and wirelessly powered a bus. So through, um, there's a 10 inch gap where high frequency energy is transmitted from the uh, plate in the bottom and the receiver is in the bus. So it charges all night long and then the batteries are small, very small. Because the way that we use batteries and electric vehicles now, they're so heavy, so you ruin the gas mileage efficiency. So these take small uh, batteries and they charge them with this Tesla technology. So the bus has a full charge and it has a recharging station along the route. Not every stop, but along the route. So it keeps that charge. And the fuel efficiency is way up there. So these are signs. Now, this happened in December 2012. The University of Utah made a prototype of this bus. And they're, and they're going to commercialize it. They're going to expand. And so that's, these are baby steps and positive signs that we're seeing that this Tesla technology is, in fact, slowly coming about. The reality is, is that these, we call them the space brothers, these intelligent beings who live on these higher planes of life, are inspiring all of, all of us. And by our ability to be receptive, we're going to be seeing the engineers, the scientists, bringing in these different new inventions to help with this positive new age, this new Aquarian age. And one of the things uh, that is written about in the Inerius texts is the civilization of Atlantis, and how on every home, every home had its own power generator that supplied that home with its energy, non-polluting source of energy, for free. And everybody says then, well, where's yours? Where's your proof? If you go downstairs, there's some guys that are putting out something that's called the Cyril Generator. Cyril, uh, Cyril Technology Incorporated, and, and John Robert Roy Cyril invented it in 1946. And you're Kirk. Yeah, and he, he, he keeps getting squashed down, but we're, we want to get our the machine finished before he passes to the other side. So that is so. This is the indication of what our positive future is about. These folks, uh, obviously, John was inspired from the inner. Oh, the inner self at a very young age. And yeah. and saw these visions and, and wanted to bring this into fruition. It's taken him many many years to get it to this point. We're very close. And so. Folks, this is not mumbo jumbo. This is a part of our positive new age. Now, what goes right hand in hand with this, because this is just, these are just first steps towards what can happen on our world where we can transform it to something we all want to live in, is that each one of us has to start taking personal moral responsibility for our lives and for ourselves. 